Okay, now look at this question. Huh? 6 kilogram block initially at rest is pulled to the right along a horizontal frictionless surface by a constant uh, horizontal force of 12 newton. Find the speed of the block after it has moved 3 meter. Okay, uh, so from here what we can see, this is uh, using uh, work energy theorem. Okay, uh, so look at uh, this. Okay, so first, so first, of all, first of all, I want to draw the diagram. Okay, I always draw the diagram first. Okay, uh, draw the diagram, draw the block, right? Draw the block. This is the block. Okay, now draw all the free body diagram. Draw all the identify all the forces on the block. Okay, so uh, you use a point, yeah, a point mass to represent the block. Okay, so you have the initially what force you have? Six kilogram. So this is the mass. Okay, uh, first of all, let's identify what what information given. You have the mass. This is the horizontal force. Uh, 12 Newton, the external force, pushing force, uh, pulling force, huh? the same. Initially at rest, that means initial velocity is zero. Okay. Uh, frictionless, uh, it's a horizontal surface. So I draw a horizontal surface already. Frictionless, that means no friction. Uh, so no frictional force. Frictional force is zero. Good. So now, uh, what's the speed? I want to find the final velocity. After it has moved, uh, 3 meter. So this is the displacement 3 meter. Okay, so okay, so what kind of force? We have the mass. Mass means it must have the uh, gravitational force. Uh, first of all, we draw the gravitational force. Uh, so okay, uh, before that, we draw the x and y axis. Okay, draw the x axis. This is the x axis, and this is the y axis. Yeah, y axis. Uh, so this is the gravitational force. Uh, we can put as weight also. Weight, sorry, weight. Okay, weight equal to mg. Okay. Uh, we also can write this as the fg la gravitational force. Yeah. And then uh, we have the pushing pulling force to the right. Yeah, pulling force to the right. Uh, he said to the right, isn't it? So pulling force to the right. Uh, this is the external force, which is 12 Newton. Okay, uh, just now the mass is uh, 6 kilogram, so I just put 6 times gravity. Okay, uh, what else? Uh, it has the normal force, of course, because it's on the surface, right? Uh, it has the normal force and uh, what else? I think that's it. No frictional force, uh, frictionless. And then you say displacement 3 meter. You need to draw displacement. You need to draw displacement because talk, talking about work done. Work done, we need displacement to compare with force to get the angle theta. So we need the displacement direction. Don't draw acceleration, uh, draw uh, draw displacement. So we need the displacement direction for comparison. Okay, so that's it. Uh, okay, now use the work energy theorem. Okay, uh, work energy theorem means uh, this one. Lah. Okay, uh, this is the work energy theorem. We need, yeah, we need this work energy theorem. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, so uh, we're going to use this one. Yeah, the network done equal to the change of kinetic energy to find the final velocity. Uh, okay, so before that, uh, we need to find the network done. Network done. Uh, we need to find out the work done by the normal force, work done by the pulling force, work done by gravitational force because only three forces. Seems like there are only three forces acting. Uh, so there are three work done. Okay, so you, first of all, you need to find out what's the work done by normal force, what's the work done by gravitational force, what's the work done by uh, pushing force. Okay, so find one by one first. Huh? So okay, first of all, we start off with uh, finding the uh, work done by uh, the what, what work done by normal force. Okay, work done by normal force. We use what normal force dot with Displacement, normal force dot with displacement, uh, normal force displacement cosine theta, uh, cosine theta. So now, this normal force, uh, what is the angle theta? Theta for normal force with displacement, 90 degrees, isn't it? I uh, see that. 
uh, 90 degree. So, uh, this one is uh, cosine 90. Uh, cosine 90 equal to 0, isn't it? Uh, so, normally for normal force, we don't bother to find the normal force because always multiply by 0. Uh, the work done by normal force is always 0. Okay? Uh, because it's 90 degree. And then now, we need to find the work done by gravity. Okay, let's find out the work done by gravity. Work done by gravity, we use the gravitational force to dot with displacement. Uh, so, <coughs> work done by gravity. Okay, so, <coughs> Fg is actually Mg, mass times gravity, and then times displacement, cosine theta. Okay, what's the mass? Uh, 6g, yeah. Displacement. I think no need to, to find out the value also because it's still cosine. Compare the mg with displacement. mg with displacement also 90 degree perpendicular, right? So still cosine 90. We know one thing cosine 90 always equal to cosine 90 is always 0. So don't bother to do the calculation. Uh, everything that multiplies 0 is also 0. <coughs> okay, now what about work done by the normal force? What about the work done by the force F? So let's find out the work done by force F. Force F, so we use the force F dot wave displacement, which is Fs uh, cosine theta. Okay, what is the force F? 12 Newton. Okay, 12 Newton. So just put 12 Newton. 12 Newton. And what is the displacement? Uh, displacement 3 meter. You can put there. This displacement is 3 meter. Ah, okay. So uh, you can put the value 3 meter there. Okay. Because it's 3 meter. Uh, 3 meter. Yeah. And then cosine. What's the angle between uh, the force F and displacement? They are same direction, isn't it? Same direction. So same direction should be zero degree. Uh, zero degree. Okay. It is zero degree. Because uh, same direction and it is uh, parallel. So it is cosine zero. Zero degree between them. So we know one thing cosine zero is equal to one. Uh, okay. <coughs> so what's the value? This one is, uh, I got a positive value. Okay, 3 times 12, 36 times 1 is 36. 36 Joule, uh, that's the work done by force F. That's not the final answer yet. We need to find the speed. Okay, so how to find the speed? So we got the work done for each of the individual forces already. So now we need to find the net work done. So what's the net work done? Okay, what's the net work done? Okay. Uh, the network done so the network done is equal to you actually can directly write like this uh, change of kinetic energy just use the work energy theorem understand uh, the network done equal to change of kinetic energy oh sorry uh, the network done equal to change in kinetic energy so what's the network done here network done means we total up all the work done so we have the work done by normal force Plus, work done by gravitational force, work done by force F, okay? And then on the right-hand side, we have the change in kinetic energy. That means it is a final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy, okay? So, okay, at the left-hand side, here we put a 0 joule plus 0 joule. Work done by force F is 36 joule, okay? And then left-hand side, and no, at the right-hand side, Final kinetic energy is actually half mv square, and then initial kinetic energy is half mu square. Okay, from here we can see uh, initially at rest, isn't it? Uh, initially at rest, I mean u equal to zero, uh, u equal to zero. So, so here is already zero, yeah, because u is zero. Anything multiplied zero is still zero. Uh, so, uh, and then. Uh, Okay, so here is 36 equal to, uh, what is the mass M? Mass M is uh, 6 kilogram, alright, 6 kilogram, so we put as 6 kilogram, 
and then v square ah you can find your final velocity v huh? let's calculate let's calculate huh? where's the okay let's find the velocity v ah i got the answer is uh uh 3.4 you know 3.46 uh, meter per second is that correct 3.46 3.46 let's check the answer the answer is uh, 3 3.46 yes that's correct uh 3.46 3.46 that's the final velocity uh yeah using the work energy theorem okay i'm correct okay that's it for work energy theorem yeah simple and easy 3.46 meter per second